We always have a primary voltage, which is like a low tension voltage. We have a high voltage, don't we? Which shoots down, down the HP line into the spark plug. And that's what ignites our mixture as it jumps across the gap. Let's look at another diagram. Let's explain Faraday's law and why, how it works. All right, guys and gals, this is a, a diagram that I don't have a red pen for, unfortunately. This is actually 12 volts. So I should write that on. So it's just a conventional battery with 12 volts. Okay. There's the ground, going to chassis ground. Now, my machine is coming down this line here from the engine ECU DME. So my machine is triggering on that yellow wire, a transistor inside the ignition coil, which is here. The transistor has your 12 volt there coming in. And basically, you know how about how transistors work. If you don't, you can just, I'm not gonna go through transistors. It's gonna completely detract away from the subject matter at this, what type of transistor it is, etc. All you need to know is a transistor is a very fast electronic switch. That's all a transistor is. But you can look at that in your own time. So this is the primary circuit, and we know it's a primary circuit because it's connected to these windings. Now, these there's a lot less windings on the primary as on the high voltage secondary windings, which there's a lot more of. We'll see that when we open the coil up, the section of coil in a minute. So many turns on the secondary coil, the, the, the blue one I've put here, which goes direct to the spark plug to fire it. Well, goes goes direct to the output part of the coil, which then obviously is connected here. Um, there's a lot more turns on that secondary coil compared to this black primary coil and that um, forms a transformer with a large multiplication of voltage you see so it's a large voltage spike applied to the spark plug the sudden change in magnetic field on the, from the primary uh, the switching off of the primary induces a current and that current creates an extremely high voltage and that's the in the ignition coil and that's Faraday's law essentially that's how it works in that sense. So it's a solid state ignition ignition uh, coil, this. And they can produce about 40,000 volts, actually, from the interruption of the of this 12 volts sort of supply from the transistor. When we interrupt the primary, we induce in the secondary a massive voltage spike. And that's basically how a spark plug works.